In this video, I'm checking out the Rode PSA One Plus desk mount boom arm. Yes, it's kind of the established industry standard, but I've been using it for quite a while and thought that actually I have quite a few thoughts about this and it would be really worth reviewing for anyone thinking about buying it. Looking online, I really don't think there are many balanced reviews of this product and it's not all pros, there are cons. So what are they? How's the build quality? What's the user experience like? You'd think this is the be all end all of desk mount boom arms, but is it? I've timestamped everything in this video so you can just skip around to the bits that you want, no problem. I'm also on the long winding road to 100,000 subscribers, so it would really mean the world to me if you could just take a second to hit that subscribe button. It helps me, helps the channel, and um, I really appreciate it. Thank you so much in advance. This video is not sponsored and Rode have no knowledge of it, but it is made possible by my Patreon backers. The way that works is any funds from Patreon go back into the channel, I buy gear, and then I review it and give the gear to my backers by way of a giveaway. If that's of interest, if you want to, you know, help to support the channel, it's inexpensive to be a backer, you know, it means you, you help the channel and plus you can win some cool stuff. All the details are down below. So, features. Well, it's a mic arm with a couple of mounting options. There's the desk clamp mount, which is how I'm using it or there's the threaded desk mount type. It has rubber contact points for your desk and Rode say this gives superior isolation from knocks, bumps and keyboard or mouse clicks. Now actually I beg to differ, but more on that in just a little bit. The microphone mount itself feels sturdy and never droops. Rode say the weight limit of this arm is a weirdly specific 94 grams to 1.2 kilograms. In reality, it will support this. This is the Hollyland Lark M2, which I reviewed recently. You should definitely check out my review. This is a fantastic lav mic system, wireless. It's nine grams. So, Rode, nine grams, update your specs. You're welcome. However, I can confirm that the upper weight limit is correct because when I go to mount my warm audio WA47 tube mic, which weighs 1.34 kilos, the arm won't support it. And that is a shame. The cable management on the PSA One Plus is truly fantastic. Cables clip in before and after each joint and basically become part of the arm. There's no pulling or restriction, it's just tidy and near perfect. It's nice that the cable isn't built into the arm like some of the competitors have. This means that you can choose your cable. You know, a lot of people using these like to use, you know, a USB mic or a mic that requires a seven pin cable rather than an, a regular XLR. It's just more flexible and in my opinion, more pro. The sleeves that are included on the Plus model, I think also contribute to it looking more tidy, sleek and help the arm to be almost silent when positioning it. All in all, the build quality is very good. I know that on occasion I can be a little hard on road as a company, but that's just because that's because video guys just blindly buy their on-camera mics without kind of realizing that that there are often much better options by looking at other companies. We're a bit sheepy like that. However, I have never criticized Rode on their build quality side of things. I think generally the quality of the products they make is of a very high standard. Anyway, now let's move over to the desk angle and I can show you a bit more about this arm. And here it is. You can see I've got mounted my AKG C414 and I'm using it right now. So, um, you know, you're gonna get some bumps. You're hopefully gonna hear some noise and um, yeah, it's not gonna be as um, kind of slick sounding as the rest of the video, but it's okay. So you can see the movement um, works pretty well. I don't know if you can hear you get a little bit of a kind of noise from the sleeves and um, it's okay because I rarely have to move it mid recording audio, so that's okay. As for noise, you know, I'm talking about rumble from the desk. I mean, I can click and see if you're gonna hear that, but to be honest, it's difficult to kind of isolate, you know, the actual sound of the click that's being picked up, you know, from, from the mic and the sound that makes through the desk. So I'm not sure about that. What I am sure that this thing picks up on is uh, the whir and rumble of 
all of this gear. So my computer, you know, contains, it's got hard drives that are doing its thing. Because of the nature of this channel, I have lots of storage and I actually have, I have them stored underneath my desk in, uh, in kind of trays. I'm not, I won't show you now, but, um, and I have tried to isolate them as best as I can. I've tried to, I've used sort of foam to kind of, uh, to, to kind of mitigate any, any rumble coming through the desk. But even then it, it, it comes across on the mic. And the other thing to say is it's winter right now in the UK. And, uh, so it's very cold. My systems are very happy when things are cold. It's when it gets to the summer and everything gets noisy, you know, the whole table starts to kind of vibrate basically. And, um, and you do hear it through the mic. You may have noticed this uh, pop filter. This is my favorite pop filter. It's made by uh, Haken, Haken, Haken. Um, it's extremely lightweight and I, I don't like the metal ones because they, they to me add something in the high frequency that I don't like. This adds nothing. So I recommend looking that one up. Um, however, attaching it is quite tricky. You know, I've got, I've got it attached here, but it's just not the easiest thing to attach onto. That's all I'm saying. I have to really tighten it quite quite hard. I'd love it if there was some kind of solution for uh, making that easier. It's not like um, adding a pop filter to a mic stand where it has you know a cylindrical thing to attach onto, and then it's just rocks rock steady. Here it's kind of uh, like a rectangular pole. Um, so it's just, it's just not that, it's just not perfect. That's all. It's a small complaint. Um, one thing I like about the kind of convenience factor of this is that I can just, I can just move it and tuck it behind my computer and it's just, it's gone out the way. Um, I will just quickly show you. And that's what behind my computer sounds like. Next on to value for money, and usually in this section, I would show you a few of the competition to gain some context. But in this case, it's a little bit tricky. There are some extremely inexpensive desk mounts out there, especially on Amazon. There's potentially value to be had here, but I can't recommend any of these, so tread carefully. I would bet that some are on the flimsier side, and would you really want to trust them to hold microphones potentially worth a lot of cash? Of course, there are also more premium options that will likely be more sturdy. And if money is no object, then perhaps these are for you, such as the Yellow Tech Mika arm, which looks amazing, holds mics up to 1.5 kilos or more, depending on the model, which opens the door to using more mics. But it is expensive, bordering extortionate actually, and again, has a built-in cable. Why? Why? Yes, it looks tidy, but really? So for me, the Rode PSA1 and PSA1 Plus kinda just hit the sweet spot. They do what you need them to do. They're available everywhere. They're the most popular. I, I don't think they're kind of outstanding value or anything. I don't think they're terrible value either. They're just kind of fair, fair value. Anyway, now to my pros and cons, and I'll start with the pros because I'm a glass half full kind of guy. So kicking off the pros, we have build quality, of course. It's pretty solid and I especially love the sleeves that you get on the PSA One Plus. And then we have the convenience factor. Because of all the features I'm just about to mention, this thing is super convenient to use. It has great cable management. They just melt away and become part of the arm. Love it. Looks are subjective, of course, but this is important if you're producing videos where you have to have the arm in shot, say you're doing a podcast video. This is gonna look the part. It doesn't have a fixed XLR. This is good. This is a good thing. Your cables are better, and I wouldn't want any company taking away the option to change your cable. And then the cons, and despite what Rode says, it does pick up a little rumble from your desk in my experience, but let me know if your experience differs. The weight limit is a little inconvenient. I'm hoping that maybe the next version of this will increase the weight limit so as not to limit your choice of microphone. It's a little tricky fiddly to attach a pop filter. Again, let me know if you've got some experience with this and you know some sort of hack for, you know, making it easier. Finally, to my opinion, and I think I covered it all, is it good? Yeah. Is it perfect? No, of course not. Should you get it? Yeah, probably. Do you own it already? 
think a lot of you do. If that's the case, you have my validation. But okay, seriously, it's a great arm. Uh, it does exactly what you needed to. It's it works well, and it looks the business doing it. I mean, what really more do you need? Uh, and the price is fair. It's okay. I'd love it if the next version of this could hold a heavier payload, opening up a wider you know selection of mics that you could choose. It could isolate desk rumble a little better, and finally to have some kind of universal solution for attaching pop filters and I don't I don't want to buy before you suggest this I don't want to buy some kind of proprietary road clip-on thing I, you know I want to use my own I like my own pop filters so it's just a preference anyway that's it for now I just hope you found this video interesting and helpful but do you agree what did I miss definitely let me know in the comment section down there and I'll be that I'll be down there as much as I can I've now made approaching 400 of these videos I just kind of can't believe it and the algorithm has suggested this video for you to watch next, so do what you're told. <laughs> and the one underneath is my most recent upload. Until next time, let's help each other out and shoot better video. See you guys. Mm -hmm.